And here's your starter file for the appointment app. So we have an appointment services page, a checkout page, and then this extra little thing over here on the right that we'll get to at the end. So I filled mine out with some pictures of the services. I added a color palette with these sort of lavender lilac colors and green for checkout and red for cancel. I want to point out that on the services page, I have clip to content checked over in the properties panel and that's because the page is longer than what you actually see so it'll kind of like scroll up through the space so keep clip content checked and to go with that I need to make sure that my uh, checkout at the bottom and the two pieces at the top both say fixed position when scrolling so they don't move but the part in the middle with the appointments does move all right, now I'm going to duplicate this uh, artboard. So option drag on its name, and I'm just going to slide it over to the left because that's where I have space. And on this one, I'm going to remove the green checkout button at the bottom. This will be the page where people pick their appointments by tapping on the pluses. And then I also want to be able to kind of X out of that. So I'm going to take the plus on the middle page and rotate it back to zero so that it's an X. All right, so I have all the things I need set up. I'm gonna switch over to prototyping. Now the first thing I do is uh, tap the name of the artboard and check that I have vertical scrolling selected. Okay, I need that for those two screens. I don't really need it for the checkout screen because it's not gonna scroll. Then I'm gonna go back and wire the plus on the first item over to the second artboard. And then I'm going to switch my animation to dissolve to give it a nice smooth transition. And then I'm going to pick the X on the middle artboard and wire it back to the first one. So that helps us add the appointment or uh, X out of it. And then I'm also going to take the arrow at the top and wire it from on the middle artboard and wire it to the first artboard. And I'll take the checkout button at the bottom and wire it over to the checkout page. Okay, and on the checkout artboard, I'm gonna wire cancel back to the very first artboard. And I'm gonna wire the arrow at the top also back to the very first artboard. Great, so here's all my wires. Let's tap the play button next to flow and take a look at the prototype. Yeah, I'm going to test my scrolling first. Then if I tap the plus for manicure, I see the X. If I tap the X, I go back to the original screen and see the plus. Tap plus again. Now I can tap checkout and go to the checkout screen. If I tap cancel, I go back to the beginning. If I tap the plus for manicure again and then tap the back arrow, I go back to the beginning screen. If I tap the plus for manicure, tap checkout, and then tap the back arrow, I again go back to the first screen. Okay, now we're going to take a look at that extra artboard I gave you. This is to create a icon that might be on your phone's home screen, so it's an app icon. So I'm going to just easy, uh, quickly show you how to use the pen tool. I'm going to create kind of like a leaf uh, logo for my app. So you just basically tap to create dots and then pull these uh, handles out and you can stretch the lines, create curves, and move things around. If you want to break the curve like right now they're connected but if you want to break them switch to the arrow tool and then you can move them independently and that's how i'm going to get this more leaf-like shape and when i'm happy with my shape i'm going to change the fill color And I'm going to pick the dark purple, or the darker purple, and then I'm going to get rid of the stroke by changing that to zero. Then tap done. Now I'm going to put the line down the middle of the leaf, so I'll get the pen tool again. And I'm just going to tap on both ends of the leaf and drag to get a nice curve through the middle of the leaf. And you can use the handles on the ends of the curves to adjust the shape. It's kind of hard to see because it's a light gray line right now, but in a second, I'm going to change it to the lighter uh, lavender purple color and I'm gonna make it a lot thicker. 
So now it is much more like a leaf. And then tap done. Okay, and now I have a like home screen icon that you can see on your phone with all your other app icons.